Here's the situation. You've created a pivot table on aged inventory and you need a way to bring the grand totals to the top. As a good manager, you always want the grand totals at the top because that's the first thing you're going to look at. If the grand totals look good, then you can move on to your next spreadsheet. However, if the grand totals are at the bottom, you're going to have to scroll all the way to the bottom to see them. Now this is just a short list. I don't even have to scroll at all because I can already see the grand totals. But you can imagine if this was very long, it could go down quite some way. And I'd have to scroll all the way to the bottom to see the end result, what I'm most interested in. And as a manager, I probably have plenty of spreadsheets. And to have to do that in every spreadsheet would waste a lot of time. So I always want to have the grand totals at the top. But a pivot table doesn't have an easy way to do that. So what we're going to do is create our own category. You see, these cities are a category. What they're doing is they're going to be listed multiple times in the source data. And then, quite simply, the pivot table just adds all of these together. Let me show you. Let's swing over to the source data. See the locations have city 1, city 2, city 3, city 4. And what it's doing is it's adding all of these uh, results for city 1 together, putting them in their appropriate column, and sending it over here. So there's only one row for city 1 with all the results summarized. So if you think about it, all we really need to do is create another column with one single category. It will add all of the results together. That will be our grand total. So insert a column anywhere within this data source and call it grand total. Grab it and drag it all the way down through your range. There you go. Now swing back over to your pivot table. You're going to have to hit refresh. And there you see it popped up. Check the box. Grand totals are here, but they're in the wrong sequence. So we come down here, we grab the grab the grand total bar and slide it above location and let go. And now we've got it where we want it, but there are no totals. We have to hit the drop down arrow, hit field settings, come over here to subtotals, hit automatic, click OK. There you go. We've created a new category that is going to sum everything within it and we called it grand total. Now we don't have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to see what's most important to us. It's right there at the top. And that's how that works. So let me show you what I did. And that is a way to solve this need.